Sweet. Okay. All right, cool. So what do you think about Xenomorphs? Yeah. Um, I love the way they look. I love the whole thing in the movies. The idea is wonderful. Uh, if they were real, they should all be killed. Yeah. All right. What do you think about um, primary predators? So predators that kill herbivores. Um, primarily, or an overwhelming majority of cases, kill herbivores, like maybe lions. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. The idea is, presumably, like, we want to, you know, if there were xenomorphs that were hunting us, even if they were for survival and they weren't engineered, let's say they just evolved. Sure. And they just hunted humans and ate humans alive and stuff. We'd probably want to kill them. We wouldn't, and we probably wouldn't appeal to like things like environmental consequences right. of killing them. We probably wouldn't ki appeal to like, oh, what if the humans are overpopulated because we killed the xenomorphs? What if they were going to starve to death because yeah. they're just like, it would create so much suffering for those poor humans if they weren't eaten alive by the xenomorphs. Their population would be out of control. Um, we wouldn't come up with all this stupidity, all this ridiculous reasoning and right. post hoc gymnastics to try to justify not killing the xenomorph. Now, just because when of it comes the way the xenomorph is. What do you mean it's because of the way the xenomorph is? Well, the xenomorph has some kind of acid for blood. It's, you know, it can use its tail, it's got claws. Uh, Somehow, you know, it's it's got a double mouth, you know. <laughs> um, the thing is, it's and it's got this bony kind of exoskeleton, and there's and 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 the way that they breed, you know, it's it, it's kind of a yeah. So let's say, I mean, well, <laughs> I think it's because they they eat they're eating humans alive. That's really the reason. I mean, let's say they didn't have the bony exoskeleton. Let's say they um, let's say they had the uh, they didn't have a double mouth. They only had a single mouth, you know. Claws are not different. Both lions and xenomorphs have claws, so that can't be it. That's a shared property. Okay. Um, so that would just be a category R for being a difference. Um, so, I mean, if they're they incredibly did... lethal, is the idea. Then hard to stop. Hard to stop. Yeah, lions are pretty hard to stop too, right? Not quite. Really? Oh, uh, well, I mean, let's say they were as hard to stop as a lion was, but they were just eating humans, you know. A lot. I still think that people would say, oh, we should probably kill these things. And they wouldn't say any of the mental gymnastics to try to avoid killing them. To like, you know, I'm just not sure of the externalities. I'm just not sure of the downstream environmental consequences. Like, like the xenomorphs will just kill until there's nothing left. Yeah, I mean, lions presumably will too. <laughs> I mean, it. If uh, you know they have they're available to kill and they're hungry, you know the lions will just kill other beings as well. Well, the issue with the xenomorphs even is that wouldn't. there's Wait, no. Even if xenomorphs wouldn't kill until there's no humans left, even if they only just killed some humans and then killed more humans, like even if they were just like part of this cycle yeah. predator prey cycle relationship with humans, like I don't think yeah. it would matter. I think it's if from to kill them. Yeah, I think if there was some kind of environmental equilibrium that the xenomorphs could find on some kind of planet, right, with the, with the, just the right ecosystem or something, right, then then it would be imagined. Then I could imagine, oh well, you know, xenomorphs just need to be in their right environment, uh, and if you place them on some planet like Earth, they would just completely kill everything. So you yeah, wouldn't want them say, on Earth, you know. Yeah, but, like but let's say on Earth they were in this equilibrium. Let's say on Earth they were in an equilibrium with us where they were in a predator-prey cycle relationship with us. You know, they would eat humans alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's how they survived, and we were in a natural-like equilibrium with um, xenomorphs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, could so you question, uh, describe or elaborate on that? <laughs> yeah, so the, so the question I have for you is, would you want to, if you see a xenomorph, you're walking around, you know, you see a xenomorph, um, xenomorphs, uh, this particular xenomorph is not going to kill you, it probably will kill a bunch of other humans in the future. Um, you have a gun, what do you do? 
<laughs> go Ripley on them. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I agree. Okay. I mean, just with the way yeah. they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The things that, and well, the way they are, not the way that, the things they'll do, the things they're, they're going to kill a human either alive. That's part I mean, of the way they are is what they'll do too. All yeah. right. Fine. Then that's part of the way the lion is for other sentient beings. So, yeah. So, the qu- same question for the lion. I mean, you right, go. Yeah. Exactly. If you place the lion on like a planet, where it will just completely like like it it's in a position to literally eat everything it probably will. Well, no, we're not talking about eating everything now. We're talking about the xenomorphs are on this planet, but they're in a natural equilibrium. They're not even going to eat all of us. They're just going to eat like they're going to eat some of us in an equilibrium. They're going to have a predator prey cycle with humans. Uh, I mean, right? oh, oh, okay, that's. Just like lions and buffalo, right? The lions have a predator prey cycle with the buffalo or the or the antelope. But you know, the xenomorphs in this hypothetical are having a predator prey cycle with humans. I just don't I'm just not I'm I'm just not seeing that. Can you help me there? Can you help me there? Yeah, sure. So there's a certain amount of xenomorphs. There um they eat kill humans, they eat them alive, they breed, they have babies, etc. Um but sometimes they run out of humans to eat. If they run out of, if they don't eat a certain amount of humans in a given amount of time, they die, they starve to death, right? And so when they are eating more humans, there's less humans around, and then they starve to death and they die, and there's less of them. But since there's less of them, there's less competition for eating humans, and then they could eat more humans, and then there's more of them. A natural predator prey cycle, just like any other predator prey cycle. Now, when you look at a xenomorph in this natural predator prey cycle, what do you do? You have a gun. What do you do? Oh, uh, well, if, if if there was some kind of natural equilibrium, uh, I wouldn't shoot the xenomorph then. Really? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. So you would let the xenomorph eat another human? Ah, shit. Well, I mean, is there any kind of commitment I have to have to my own species? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> You wouldn't let the so you would let the xenomorph like eat a bunch of eat like let's say they eat like ten humans on average <laughs> like you know they eat ten humans a day. You know you would just you would let you know the day go by with ten more humans being eaten alive. No, no, no. I'd still I'd still probably kill the xenomorph. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's All just, right. I'm still hard. I'm having a hard time imagining just the way the xenomorphs are and just the way humans are that there's a natural equilibrium. Like, why is that I, hard to imagine? Yeah, I'm, I'm just. That's very uh, easy to imagine. Look, imagine like okay. if they don't get ten humans in a day, they die. Right? They starve to death. Let's just let's just mm-hmm. can you imagine that? Uh. I, I maybe I can make up a scenario in my mind. Sure, I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah, imagining maybe. one right now. I'm imagining one right now. Okay. Yeah, and can you imagine that it might be hungry and it could starve? That's another thing I don't. I've never seen. I've I've never seen xenomorphs be hungry. Okay, but you can you imagine a xenomorph being hungry? I, I don't. I don't know why this is hard. Uh, yeah, it's it's weird because it's like, do xenomorphs even eat? Well, let's just say they do. <laughs> let's just say they do. Okay, so if they're hungry, if they're in a natural predator-prey cycle, you agreed that you'd kill the xenomorph. Okay. So now the question is, what do you do with you, same scenario? You see a lion. Okay. Okay. You have a gun. What do you do? Uh, well, it's not coming at me, is it? No, the, neither was the xenomorph. Well, the xenomorph's going to be coming at me one way or another. No, it'll come at other humans. It'll come at other sentient beings. It won't come at you. <sighs> what? Okay, okay. So let's imagine a scenario where it's not going to be coming at me, right? Yeah, it'll come at Attack. other humans. It'll, right. Let's say it'll let, come at I other humans. Like that humans. mad scientist that wants to let them live, so yeah. I can study them or some shit. Yeah. No. Or no, you're just protected. Like you're. Doesn't matter. Like for it's not. Regardless of the reason, um, you are in a you know you're in a helicopter passing you know, going over a a, a land area and you see a xenomorph, and you have a sniper rifle. 
You know, th you could let the Xenomorph live and the Xenomorph will kill um, 10 humans in the remainder of the day. Or it's not going to kill you either way. You're in the helicopter. Right, okay. Or you can just kill it and it won't kill those 10 humans in the remainder of the day. Yeah, just kill it. Good, I agree. Okay, cool. You're in a helicopter. You see a lion. You have a sniper rifle. What do you do? Uh, are is this is the lion in the same position to kill ten humans? No, it'll kill ten uh, other sentient animals. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Nah. Okay, name the trait. Nah means, and just to be clear, nah means don't kill it or do kill it. I'm not sure, actually. What it, what is nah? Well, I'm no lion hunter, so I'm not going to kill it. Okay, name the trait. Like, what accounts, so you said you, you would kill it kill the predator in one case and you wouldn't kill a, a different predator in another case so what yeah. what predicates are present in one that if present in the other you would you, you would kill the predator so in this scenario and where i'm flying i'm in this helicopter we're on earth right yeah okay so i would say it's that ecosystem is the trait ecosystem is the trait so let's what do you mean yeah. by that well it seems that lions are kind of are restricted to a, a region they're not gonna travel anywhere so lion, anywhere to so uh, the lions are just restricted to for their reproduction so the lions are just restricted to africa is that it yeah the lions are restricted right. to africa so let's say and, the xenomorphs are restricted. Wait, hold on. So let's say the xen. Okay, what you sorry, you're going to say another thing. And yeah, and the xenomorphs. What? Yeah, the xenomorphs. Uh, since they need just any kind of mid to large size life form to collect to reproduce, um, they would go wherever the life forms are. It wouldn't matter where. Yeah, so let's say for, our, for the sake of the hypothetical that the xenomorphs were restricted to Africa and they were just eating the Africans. They were eating African humans, right? So now you're in a helicopter. You see the, ze the restricted xenomorph that are just, that's just in its natural predator-prey cycle. So mm -hmm. what do you do with your sniper rifle? They're in a predator-prey cycle with the, the Africans. Wow. Um the xenomorphs are in a predator prey cycle with the africans yeah so hmm. they're they're restricted to africa they're not going to leave africa africa they're like the, they wouldn't be suitable environment for them so now what do you do it sounds like they're not xenomorphs anymore okay but regardless what do you do well um we can call them African xenomorphs if you like. Yeah, I mean, African xenomorphs, I don't that's not going to change anything, but I'm thinking. Um, so. We can call them African shminomorphs if you like. You, you call them whatever you want. I'm just thinking just yeah. about, the, about the image right now. Okay, so they're in a natural predator prey cycle, so. Why kill them again? Because they're going to kill African, African humans. Like, presumably, if someone is going to kill and eat humans alive, um, the ethical thing to do would be to kill them before they kill the humans and eat them alive, right? Well, do we know for sure that that will happen? Almost certainly. We no, we don't know anything for sure, but almost certainly it will. Because if we knew that was going to happen, then yeah. Just like, I mean, to the same degree that we can have confidence that a lion is going to kill a, a prey in the, sometime in the future. As certain as we are, to the same degree of confidence we have that a lion is going to kill another sentient being at some point in the future. 
Yeah, but not necessarily a human. No, not necessarily a human, but they'll kill to the, to whatever degree that they will kill another sentient being. We have the same confidence that the xenomorph will kill another human African. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you'll still have to kill it. Yeah. Okay. So now. Okay. Well, then. Wait a minute. So that's a contradiction. Because oh, you yeah. said oh, yeah. the predicable difference, right? You said the predicable difference was that um, environments. And when I asked you what that meant, right. you said it was that they're restricted. Now I gave you the case where the xenomorph is restricted, the shminomorph or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you said it's still yeah. okay to kill. So presumably it wouldn't be okay to kill if that was the difference. So it is and is not the difference. It is and is not the predicable difference. So that so that's a contradiction. P and not P. And let's see here. And what if we say that they should not be killed in that restricted example. Yeah, then you would be saying you would be affirming a position that would just allow the xenomorphs to go to town on the Africans. Right. Presumably that looks a little bit crazy. I think even to you. Mm. I mean, I think to you. Yeah, even even the um Yeah, I mean even uh yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, most people, I think, wouldn't want to have a position that says, you know, yeah, let the xenomorphs go around and start killing the uh, killing the Africans. Even if they were in a natural predator prey. Right? Yeah. Michael. Yeah. I mean, most. <laughs> Could you imagine like someone just watching the xenomorph like rip into the flesh of an African baby and be like, you know what? That may be said, but we have to not intervene and let it happen because it's part of nature. Like, I can mean, you imagine someone saying yeah, that? Uh, yeah, I can imagine someone saying that, but that's just bizarre, just because of the, uh, just because of what xenomorphs do and what they what they are like on Earth is just not going to work. Yeah, I mean, let's just say they hunted the same way a, a lion <laughs> would hunt or something. Let's just say that, you know, that's way. Let's just wand away the pragmatics, right? Let's wand away the, like, wait, okay. Wait, what do you mean wand away the pragmatic? Yeah, so, like, if w when you say, like, oh, it's just the way they are, that this is not going to happen on Earth, like, wh what do you mean when you say that? Um, I mean, like, given Earth the way it is, uh, the way that I've seen it and imagine it, and the way I imagine Xenomorphs from the movies and the books, um, that's just not going to, that's just, that's just sort of a situation, the sort of the classic scenario of xenomorph on an environment where it's going to completely uh, do its thing, okay. so to speak. Yeah, but but let's just say this is a special type of xenomorph that, you know, if if it runs out right. of humans to eat, it will starve to death, right? That that will result in a predator prey cycle, like just right. So that's some why kind predator of prey. Weakened, right, right. Yeah, a weaken yeah. a weakened xenomorph that just needs extra humans to eat, or else it starves. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So, could you imagine taking this xenomorph, uh, this nat in the natural predator prey cycle, and say, can you imagine if people were to say, oh, well, you know, we sh it's really unfortunate that the xenomorph is tearing into an African baby, but, you know, that's just, that's part of nature. So, we should just let it happen. I mean, we have to, we can't intervene there. Right. right. It's part of nature if it evolved that way, right? Yeah, it evolved that way. The, the, they the evolved idea. to yeah. eat the African babies alive, so we should, you know, we should let it happen. Yeah. What do you think about uh, someone who says that? Do you think it or that the position? Do you think that that's a tenable position? No. Okay, I don't either. I agree. Okay, so what about the lions now? 
And so just to be clear, you would shoot the Xenomorph if you're in the, the helicopter with your sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. So now what about the lions? Um... Yeah. And so if we if we kill lions then, right? Mhm. Mm then they then they wouldn't then what? kill Yeah, then they wouldn't kill the um and eat alive whatever other uh sentient being uh sentient uh prey that they would eat alive. Okay. Now, if we kill the lions and mm -hmm. Let's see, are tigers like this too? Tigers, I mean, maybe they're not sociable like lions. You know, they're not, they don't have like a den or a pride or anything. But Well, let's say the xenomorphs were sociable. They had like, they had a pride. They had a, you know, and they were, had, they had their like xenomorph babies that they would raise and Absolutely, train to, yeah. catch, to catch the yeah. African humans. Yeah. And to yeah, eat them yeah. alive. Yeah, xenomorphs swarm, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean like so, tigers, shouldn't we also shouldn't we also kill tigers? Yeah. We should. Yeah. Okay. We should do we should also kill bears too, right? Probably. Bears, yeah? Yeah, probably. 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 How about, yeah, what about what well, about wait, can I just can I just get an answer yeah. though? Like what what do you do with the lion? Do you do you shoot the lion or not? I, I thought I already answered that. You answered no, but I then I asked for a trait, right? Or are you are you changing your view now? Are you saying you I'm would changing shoot the, lion? the view now? Yeah, I'm changing. Oh, the view so now. you're saying you would shoot the lion? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, we yeah, agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, but yeah, we would also shoot tigers and bears and leopards. Um, the only thing, the only caveat to this is that um, my goal is to shoot um would be to shoot in in a if you imagine a chain right if you imagine a uh, a chain of um predator and prey was herbivore is this that drawing you were uh yeah that you yeah. showed earlier the fish? okay okay yeah this one i'll post in general again yeah yeah so you know we have a herbivorous this is nicole's drawing by the way and called Drew this time. I know. <laughs> yeah. So imagine. So we have an herb herbivorous fish. This is a fish eating algae. Okay. And we have the the carnivore. Let's name it like carnivore number one, because it's the first carnivore in a, like a straight food chain. And the carnivore eats the herbivorous fish. Okay. And then we have the second carnivore, carnivore number two, that eats the carnivorous fish, which eats. Um, which eats the herbivorous fish. Okay. So carnivore okay. one, carnivore two. My goal is to kill the odd-numbered carnivores. You know, you could extend, keep extending this chain. And the reason is as follows. Um, presumably, the problem we have is with the carnivore that's eating the herbivore. Because the herbivore, you know, is not going to kill any other sentient being. It's not going to eat other sentient beings alive. We have the problem with the carnivore that's going to kill the herbivore. Now, if we have predator, um, predator number two, predator number two is doing what we want. Predator number two is eating the predator that's going to eat the herbivore. I see it. Um, okay. Assuming for the sake of the hypothetical, that's all they're doing. So I don't see a difference between predator number two and what we ourselves are doing. We could actually replace predator number two with us. Okay. And I wouldn't see a mean difference in this kind of causal relationship. In and terms so of like, we, uh, uh, oh, I see. Like offense. in terms of like uh, ethical veganism, in that, yeah. In, that in terms case, of right? the ethical predator killing, it would be ethical if there was a straight food chain. It would be ethical to kill um, all the odd number predators, and unethical to kill all the even number predators. Ah, yeah. If you can, if you can identify that, right? Yeah, if you can identify. In reality, it's much more messy, and and there's a lot of more agnosticism, especially like in fish. 
Um, so for like example, if you were questioning about eating tuna because tuna like eat all these other fish alive, for example, you may try to make the same argument be like, oh, tuna fish eat all these other fish alive. They're pro probably a utility drain. They're probably just resulting in deontic rights violations. I get you. But, yeah. the, re but the, pr the reality is that those fish that the tuna are eating alive are also predators and they're also eating other fish alive. And they may be actually doing a good thing by eating those other fish. Or they may be doing a bad thing if those other fish are eating other fish or if you're eating other fish. It all depends on which order they are. Are they odd or even? In reality, a lot of species aren't odd or even because they're not just straight food chains. They are. Right. They, may okay. be, they may skip things. They may eat things and skip other things in the chain. And it's a whole mess, and you don't really know. So but in the let me case, see if I understand what you're saying. Yeah, sure. So you're, yeah. you're actually saying you want to be in that position of that, of that bigger fish in that line of three, right? You want to be the one that's eating the fish that's preying on the herb herbivorous fish, right? Yeah. All right. So you're you're you you're saying that humans should be preying on those type of uh, carnivorous animals that are eating herbivores. Yeah. Right? Okay. So yeah. as in killing to eat, not like just poaching, right? No, I think I think we should do it to the extent that we can. Um, uh, you know, if there was some kind of, if really someone really could make the case for some kind of cataclysmic environmental catastrophe that would happen from it, fine. But like, to the extent that we can do it, we should, we should be, it would just be like, you know, just a simple name the trait in the human context. Like if someone was going to kill a human um, and eat the human alive and that like human was, let's just say it was an herbivore, it was a vegan human. Um, yeah, I think it would, the ethical thing to do is to kill that thing before it kills the human. And I don't see a difference here. Um I All think right. it would be an ethical thing to like, do. Not necessarily to eat, though, right? Just kill it. Just I don't, no, I don't think there's an obligation to eat it. Um, you right. could just okay. kill okay. it. But if you did want to eat it, I wouldn't see a problem with it. It's already dead. Um, and that might so, be like a pragmatic way of doing it effectively. Like you could have an industry of eating it or using its fur or whatever. Um, well, the reason I ask is um, you think maybe a health veganism would say, no, don't eat it because it's not. Yeah, you don't have to eat it. Yeah, right, just okay. like just right. yeah, but just, just like with a human, like if there was like a serial killer that was going to kill like a bunch of vegan humans, right? Like I think it would be the right thing to do to kill that serial killer, but I don't think there's an obligation for me to eat the serial killer. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, if I wanted to, I wouldn't see a problem with doing it. Um I wouldn't really have a problem with that if someone wanted to eat the serial killer. But I don't think there's an obligation to do so. All right. I think I got my fill for debate for the day. All right. <laughs> yeah, good talking to you. Hey, good. I haven't talked a lot with you, Seb, so it's good talking to you. Yeah, that was fun.